I really wanted to talk about feeling like I'm shedding I'm like almost shedding my old self and rediscovering who I am now like through this process of minimalism and I was watching the minimalist movie less is now and something they talk about is simplifying which was my word of 2023 is simplify and so this is a huge part of it and then also clearing out the clutter to get to what really matters which is not stuff at all and so kind of decluttering going through your life becoming a minimalist helps to rediscover yourself really figure out what you're passionate about to focus on who you are I mean it just leaves so much space for focusing on family focusing on friends focusing on animals <laughs> focusing on <laughs> so cute just focusing on so much that's not materialistic stuff and I think that is such a powerful message and I am just so grateful to have had these two weeks basically I've done most of this in the last week and I still have quite a bit to do over the next week but you know what I have accomplished has been over the last week and I'm just so grateful that I had this time to really dedicate to this and <laughs> go through my stuff go through memories go through clothes just go through my whole room and rediscover what does bring me joy or what adds value to my life and what doesn't and I think that journey has just been like it's been very emotional I feel like I've been really maybe shedding those old layers of who I was and so at times I have felt like so emotional or it's been really difficult just because this is a hard process right like going through everything in your life piece by piece and going through memories and being like what sparks joy or what adds value to my life like that is just a very very emotional journey and then when you get down to the bare bones of like what adds value to your life or what does bring you joy then you have to look within right like there's no more to go through there's no more other things you're surrounded by the things that do bring you joy and so then you need to look within and I think clutter is kind of a mirror of the mind and so when you get rid of the clutter suddenly you have to really focus in on yourself and what was causing that or causing that dysfunction or causing you to be so like holding on to materialistic things and I think that's just such a, an incredible journey and it's so personal and there's just so much that I'm still processing through and I think after my room has settled a bit I think that will be the next part of the minimalistic journey is like also looking at all other areas of your life right like looking at my phone usage I was like I don't want to be really when I'm on my phone I'm reading or I'm listening to a podcast or I'm you know watching a Netflix show or YouTube or something but I was like looking to that and I was like I want to simplify I don't want to have all these apps on my phone that I never use I you know don't want to have all these pictures on my phone that I never go through I only want to have my favorite pictures I like just basically going through my phone and simplifying that cutting down on my usage simplifying my computer like just really truly simplifying all areas of my life that is the goal I mean that's the goal of this year so these two weeks has really been focused on the physical like my environment but there is just still so much that I want to do and that I want to focus on and I'm just so grateful that I had this chance to do this beginning part of this journey I'm so excited that you are here along for the ride and you get to experience this with me and maybe helps inspire you to take a look at your life and you know what can you declutter and make less stressful and simplify because when you clear the clutter then you get to really focus on what's important and I think that is such a powerful message all right it is happening my room is done and so let me take you on a tour welcome to my minimalist room makeover <laughs> all right so this is the entrance now this used to have a lot more on this door and then i actually added this so those are two things that i actually made in berlin and so not much else has changed in this corner my manatees have stayed the same here this however has changed there was more up there before now it's just very cat themed this has changed a little bit as well. I love 
got this stone egg fits so perfectly on top there. And then pretty much that has stayed the same, although I took out, I know the lighting's kind of crazy. I took out all of my stuffed animals from under there. So now it just has the friends set and it has my little manatees over there. So this corner looks a lot different. So we have different artwork up here. This one is different, that's not different. And then this looks so much different, which I absolutely love it so much. I think it looks so cute. Now let's go over to this wall. So I did change this around where I swapped. This used to be in between here. So I flipped that. I cannot wait to make a cover for my blanket chest so that this cushion doesn't have like four inches of random space there that I'd love to get rid of. But other than that, that is mostly the same. This mantle is completely different. So let me show you around. So this corner is completely different. We have an adorable little feather back here. And then like I've already mentioned, I put a bunch of the, this is the same. I put a bunch of clear, these are like awards, that are clear and it, so the sun can come through. This is different though. So we have some feathers here and again, I know the lighting is terrible. I'm doing my best with the time of day. This is the same and that corner is a little different as well. So yes, that mantle looks so much different. And then up here, like I mentioned before, that is new and then down here, this is very different. I used to have something in the middle here and these sides were kind of similar and then I used to have artwork on either side. Very different. So excited. This postcard wall used to be a little out of control with so many and I narrowed it down to my favorite. And then I have a little postcard treasure chest that I'll show you in a minute. This is pretty much all the same. My bed is the same. This corner is different. It's so much different. I used to have a massive lamp here. I used to have a bunch of books back here. I don't have that anymore, but this is my new lamp that bounces. Actually, it's not new. I <laughs> grabbed it from on the table, but it bounces ambient light off this wall. This wall is different. That used to be a wall of just a bunch of kind of different random awards that I've gotten. And so I actually put this artwork and this artwork were from my dresser over here. They used to be on either side there. And I pulled them over here. And I really like when I have this light on at night, it bounces light off right here and it makes this artwork look actually extra cool. So that was really incredible. And I, I think it really balances it with the colors there. That's pretty much the same, although now I have all my stuffed animals under here, and that's a little treasure chest that I was talking about that the other postcards are in now. And yes, my name is spelled wrong. There's a pillow missing. <laughs> this wall is pretty much all the same. Down here is a little bit different. So I have, this is actually like, it's like a, not a rattle. I can't, I can't think of the name, but um, I actually made that in childhood, and so I actually brought that out because I think that's just so cool. And so, yeah, this is my kitty collection here that I brought over here. And I think it's super cute. And then this, this wall is very different. So these are the same. That is new art piece and these two are new. I completely took off everything I didn't need on there. And so now it's just usable. <laughs> this whole space is very different. So I have my wooden little figurine collection there. I also have some beveled glass ornaments that my dad has made me. This was pumpkin and cocoa. Some of my old cats. This was rascal. So yeah, definitely miss them a lot. So now I get to look at them every day, which I really love. This I put my phone in, little phone holder, and this corner I really love as well. This is some lavender here from Appalachian Botanical Company that I get a smell now right by my desk. And this is very different as well. And I think it looks so much better with more quote unquote white space in between. So you can see the cork board kind of background, which makes everything stand out a little more. These, they keep sliding down. That magnet is not as strong as some of the other ones, but I actually uh, flipped out some of my, this is like cards, so I put some cards that my mom has given me that I really, really love the artwork on, so I switched out those, and that's baby's toilet, so we're just gonna ignore that. And this is pretty much the same, although that is now different. So I've shown you that actually before, and that went through a bunch of different iterations, but I really, really love where it has ended, and at night, that lighting is like super cute. And then up here, this artwork I also showed you, and I love, love, love where this has ended. So yes, this is my new 
minimalist room and I absolutely love it so much. Oh my gosh, I should show you these as well. So this looks so much better. <laughs> There's some of the t-shirts that I was gonna give away. I was just like, okay, I'll just use them like in the summer either for home shirts here or for PJs. And then this is a lot lighter. And then down here, there is a lot less in there, which is really, really cool. That actually big box isn't even mine and I'm just kind of storing it here for right now. So, you know, I have so many less things. This was full of a lot of kitchen stuff from my old apartment that we've gone through now and I just feel like so much better. So this one looks a lot, lot better. And this one does as well. Let me show you. So those are some just memory t-shirts. I have some jewelry up here. This I didn't take out too much because I have gone through these a lot before. But this is a lot less as well. These are some gifts. This is my bag of bags. I have another bag of reusable bags back here. And then I have, you can't really see any of this, but I have my massive backpack there as well but it is so much lighter and yeah I'm so happy with the progress that I made with my clothes too. <laughs> There's also no really good way to show you whoop to show you under my bed. A lot less shoes and I only have three of those storage containers you see and then nothing at the end. And that looks a lot different because at this end here I had a bunch other storage containers that I don't have anymore and so now there's all this extra space. Bam, check that out. So yes, that is my journey, my minimalism journey and I am still kind of finding stuff that I'm like, oh, I could give this away. So it will kind of continue from here, but that is the before and after of my room. I am so glad and grateful that I got to go through this journey over the last two weeks of my staycation and I love the results of my room and I'm so grateful for The Minimalists and Marie Kondo for inspiring me because I was reading their stuff, I was listening to podcasts, I was watching movies and stuff that they've done and I just felt so inspired by all that they have, have accomplished and, and all of their kind of mindsets and stuff in the world. So yeah, this is hopefully my new journey is continuing to become more and more and more of a minimalist and now I can use this on my phone because my phone is a little overwhelming and I need to kind of make that a little bit more minimalistic and in other areas like my laptop and kind of electronics I guess is the next area that I really need to be more minimalistic with. So yeah, so freaking excited and thank you for coming along on this journey with me. It has been life changing and a lot of ups and downs and very emotional but I feel like I'm creating the person that I really want to be and kind of rediscovering or discovering a new version of myself that I am so excited to be heading towards. So yeah, it's been super exciting. And I would love to know what you think of my new minimalistic room that is heading in the right direction. But we're going to keep going in that really good direction. <laughs>